I have watched every single night. Haven't missed a frame. Um, you might, when, what, what's it like when you walk out of there? Do you know what I said actually to Emma? It was like a three-day party. You know, you're trying to get your surroundings again. You're seeing people that you're not used to seeing, and you feel a bit kind of shy because you're sharing the house with, you know, you're familiar with everybody in there, and then you you see someone different, and it, it just changes so quick. It's it's strange. I you think. were surprised that you didn't get as many boos when you came out. You thought there'd be more. Why? Yeah, because obviously the Steph thing. You know, we we were going after crowd reactions, so we obviously knew why she was getting booed. So I was surprised why it takes two to tango, as they say, doesn't it? I think people are starting to realise, you know, she's. She just, she's gone with her heart as well. That's what I feel anyway. I watched your interview with uh, with Emma when you came out, and yeah. uh, it looked tough. I mean, it's it, tough. for I you. I got agitated, like it was because you're coming out, remember, and you know you're you're a bit shocked with the crowd and all, and then your friends and family are there that you want to give a hug to, and then Emma's obviously doing her job, and they're the questions that she had to ask, and that's fair enough. But I was just trying to get my surroundings. Well, they're the questions that we've got to ask as well, Jeremy, as you well know. Yeah. What the hell were you doing? <laughs> I mean, this, this, this is this is on the telly. Did you forget at any time that this was on TV? No, not at all. Like, I knew there was, but like you forget about the cue balls. You used the L word. Yeah, you, you dropped did. the L bomb. You did, you did. Right, so when you're in that confined space, obviously, love is a strong word. Like I said, it's a dangerous word. Um, I don't think anyone really knows what love is. is it? It's just it's an emotion I felt at the time, and it's like... I just, uh, I think she confided in me a lot, and like we helped each other. It was kind of like a duo that you looked after, kind of, and it was. Uh, but she said versa. it after you left. She said she said it as well. She said that she loves you. So um, that's a, that's a very casual love you. We all say yeah, that. Love yeah, you, man. Course, love you, man. Yeah. Love you, man. But she has said it in other circumstances where she has said, "I love you," um, and that's you know, if you're if you're coming out now thinking, well, mm. you know, that was the confines of the house. Where does this relationship go when you come out? Like we said, like I said it to her, you know, I'm logic in the situation. I'm not like a 14-year-old in summer camp, do you know what I mean? You have to think with your head and in there, you know, I had the feelings. And I, I put myself in the position, if this was on the outside, she takes every box still, do you know what I mean? She's a gorgeous girl, talented, fun, loving. Obviously, the stuff with her, with her boyfriend, that has to be addressed. And I told her to take a few weeks, even if, if you go single, you know, still take down a few weeks for yourself to get to... Do you know what I mean? You, need, you right need to, you need to, you know... Would you like her, if, course, if, yeah. if she sorted things out with her boyfriend and they ended up going the yeah. separate ways, could you see her potentially as a girlfriend? Yeah, well, like I meant everything I said, the circumstances, you know, I'm, I'm obviously, I would not like to be in that position, nor would anybody. Mm. And I like, to, I like to think that I have a bit of integrity, but obviously to Sam, you know, I'm sorry but the way it worked out. But well, uh, there's a, 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 yeah. a little bit of double standards from her point of view. I mean, she is in there cheating on her boyfriend, and, yeah. uh, and, and you had one kiss in Truth or Dare with Tiffany, and she kicked right off. <laughs> yeah. Would you have done it if she'd have been sat there? No. So you well, did it, so you actually no, did no, it behind it. her back? No, because it's not... Oh, the first thing I did... Because if you were just having fun, because, you'd have fun whether or not she was well, sat there. But I thought I know it was I'd the get, fact that she was yeah. in bed and not in the room no, you did it. No, it wasn't that case. You just said it was? No, but what I'm saying is if she was there, I'd get a glare off her, do you know what I mean? So I know she wouldn't, she wouldn't be comfortable sitting around it. But I'm still a single bloke. I went in, I had a little laugh. The first thing I'd done after that was I went in and told her. Yeah. I was like, me and Scott were playing a game of shooting there. I didn't want anyone else to tell her. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say, do you know what I mean? Look, we had a little laugh. Yeah. And it was, it was a little kiss, like, it was, it was true to there, do you know what I mean? I don't think that... I, 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 sorry, I'm just going to say, I know you said double standards and the rest of it, but a game of truth or dare doesn't give you the right to go and snog other people. It doesn't. But if you're in a relationship, it doesn't. No, but, we, but you, are, you are in that house, you, we were telling each other you love each other. Yeah. Well, like, it's still, I'm still a like that's a, For me, that's an emotional exchange, which is more than <coughs> labelling each other boyfriend and uh, girlfriend. But, like, I saw it just as a game of truth and then It wasn't that, and I didn't want to hurt it or anything. Like. You just said then, you just said then, I'm still a single bloke. Are yeah. you, do you view yourself as being currently single? Yeah, because she needs to go out, she needs to sort her around stuff out. So, you know, I said, if Steph, you, if you come back to me when you're out of the house and you say that you want to be with me, yeah. it's the first thing you I'll do You need to give it a real it. chance in the yeah. real world. 100%, that's yeah. what I mean. You have to yeah. still think what you're thinking, cap on and... Thank you.